from deep inside the ruins of Unit 4, where the reactor was supposed to be. Alexander Yevchenko could see something more frightening still. A shimmering pillar of ethereal blue-white light reaching straight up into the night sky, disappearing into infinity. Delicate and strange, and encircled by a flickering spectrum of colours conjured by flames from within the burning building and superheated chunks of metal and machinery, the beautiful phosphorescence transfixed Yevchenko for a few seconds. Then Tregub yanked him back around the corner and out of immediate danger. The phenomenon that had entranced the young engineer was created by the radioactive ionization of air and was an almost certain sign of an unshielded nuclear reactor open to the atmosphere. Yuvchenko described this scene to me when I visited him at home in Moscow in 2006. And at first I was astounded that someone who had witnessed such a spectacle was still alive to talk about it 20 years later. By then, Alexander Lowy no longer liked to recall what had happened and agreed to meet me only reluctantly. Even his immediate neighbours in his apartment building knew nothing of his involvement in the accident and he remained anxious to make sure they didn't find out about it, which is why this photograph was taken in his living room instead of outside. 